and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys, and today I'm going to be going over how to prepare for a potential zero chill blitz. Now, it is not confirmed yet that we are getting a blitz, but as you guys do know, they did give us one last year, and they seem to really like the blitz format. So the best thing you can do is prepare, because not being prepared for a blitz leaves a lot of coins on the table. Like, I always tell you that story. I made 10 million coins last year during the Zero Chill Blitz. Now, you don't have to believe me. Just go check my YouTube channel. I had not been doing YouTube at that point, but I did start YouTube a few weeks after. You can go check out my team. I was no money spent. I can't have that team without buying packs, unless I made that many coins. But anyways, the way I did that was by buying Snowflakes, which was the currency last year when no one cared about it and guys we're at that similar point with kindling no one's caring about it because there's nothing of value there but as you guys know everyone in the madden community changes like that they literally Kralo will tweet the word pre uh new presence coming or like new presence co uh, coming for kindling. Be like he'll he won't even get past new pre and that's it the the, the price of kindling goes up twice like that's how quickly people change here He's like, Kralik will tweet out like, yeah, new McCaffrey coming. And before he could even tweet it out, his power up 150k. Like that is how quickly things happen in this community. So I'm just letting you guys know that that is why I make these videos on how to prepare for a blitz. Because although it might not come, I'll tell you why this is risk-free to prepare for this. And at the end of the day, it only helps you. Now here's the thing. If you don't prepare and, and kindling skyrockets, you have no way of getting into the blitz cheap. Now you actually get to spend extra money to get it. Now I'll explain why. So last year during the blitz promo, you come over to the store the first offer of that blitz whatever was like platinum players which was platinum player quick sell which is the quick sell cards for i believe it was snowflakes so at that moment in time right where were we at in zero chill zero chill was at a state where just like now they're not worthwhile i'll show you guys what i mean i'll explain to you how like you when you can see that a currency is under the value of the actual cards value so let's come over to the 94 75s and you can see very simply Christian McCaffrey. What I'm talking about. Now, McCaffrey goes for two. I just made a video two minutes ago. And McCaffrey was 265, 270. That's fine. Still still applies. But who the hell is buying McCaffrey's out right now? So I'm just going to announce one sec. All right, I'm back. They just announced some of the ghosts that were coming out. Side point, I, I just thought they announced, like, I thought they literally just announced the reason for Kindlings and he just went up or something because that was really, really fast. Like, he just went up, like, 30K. But still, the way you could tell when the King value is being undervalued is this simply. And 94 is at their worst. At their worst, 94 is their training value is 325. 325K for a 94 overall. That is the worst. That is the best deal you're going to get. Now, you might be asking, wait, but McCaffrey's in the 290s. Yes, but McCaffrey does not sell for training. He sells for Kindling. So what that implies is that the kindling value is even cheaper than the training value. Not per coin, but in, in essence, like McCaffrey isn't being held up because kindlings aren't valuable. What that tells you is that people value the training more than the kindling. Because obviously, these cards are the worst of the worst NFL 100 that people seem to not want for some reason. But McCaffrey's even under that. Now again, even in Madden, guys, you might say, oh, well, stats suck. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't matter how bad your stats are, you will always be held up in value by your training value. Which, at the moment... 94 is their training value at their worst like 320 so McCaffrey's even below that so guys here's the thing if he goes back to 270 which is a great value you I'd recommend buying some now I know saying this I probably just help like two people and everyone else can get screwed so you better hurry up on that but I'd recommend if you seem for like 270 buy a few because here's the worst here's the worst case scenario nothing good comes out no blitz not not a good blitz comes out no no use of kindling the promo ends these players convert to training quick sales McCaffrey now quick sells for the price of a 94 instead of the price of a 94 kindling quick sell. He now goes up to 320k because that is the price of his training value. You break even or you make a little bit of you make a little bit of coins. That is your worst case. The worst case scenario is you break even or make some coins. Now, best case scenario, the blitz drops. It requires kindling. Kindling has a purpose. Remember, this is kindling without a without a purpose. Kindling is this is this expensive without a purpose. You know what happens if there is a purpose? You guys want to know? Last year, to give you guys an idea. They were the Sam Darnolds. I'll never forget them. They were the ones that made my team uh, stacked and, and very rich. Sam Darnold goes to future. He went for about 230. I was like, okay, well, he's a 93 overall. So at, back then, 93 overalls, their, the training quick sell was like 270. I was like, okay, so I should just buy a few, right? Because worst case scenario, when the, when the thing uh, transfers over to training, I could easily make like 
20k per if I, if I sell them properly. I bought like five of them, six of them. The Blitz was announced. The first offer was Snowflakes. I went to go buy more Darnolds. I saw sold, 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 all the way down, sold, 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 instantly. All the way down to 330k. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna go sell them. I went to go sell them. They're now 380k. They one was like 380k, so I started selling them off for 380k. And then skyrocketed. Then the, pro, the, the offer went away. And then when the offer went away, in the next day or so, people were like, okay, well, the next offer is going to be Snowflakes too. So they held on to the Snowflakes. The next offer was training, and the next offer was money. And people were like, okay, Snowflakes aren't valuable anymore. But Darnold posted, 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 posted. Went back down to like 240. I was like, maybe there's another Snow offer. Bought them all again. I bought like 10, I bought like 10 this time. I was rich. I made so much money the first time. I bought like 10 of them. Later that night, I think it was like another Platinum Coin Quick Sell or something with Snowflakes. They went back up to 380. I sold them all again. I'm literally making hundreds of thousands, millions of coins here at this point. And then the next time they all went down again on, the th on like the third day. And I was like, I'm buying, I'm buying like 15. This time. I bought like 15. No joke. I bought like 15. It cost me like 3 million coins to buy them all. I resold them all for like double the price. I ended up making like 6 million there. And then plus, and then I started buying, I used all those, all those uh, coins to buy all the gifts, which I then pulled like tons of ad reads and I ended up at like 10 million coins. But the point is that was me prepping for a blitz. Unintentionally, of course, I wasn't like, I wasn't, I'm not, I'm not a genie. I didn't know it would be a blitz. I just thought like, oh, well, these cards are below the value. Like, that's just a great indicator of profit. Like, oh, this card's below a training value. So by default, when the promo ends, he has to go up, right? Okay. Like, that's, that's that simple. So now to go back, to backtrack to what I was saying, guys, if there is a blitz and they do introduce kindling offers, like um, a heavyweight pack for, for 400 kindling. Oh, 400 kindling is about, let's say, let's just say, oh, 40, that's about like 40K coins. Uh, heavyweight pack at the worst, like 50K. So I make 10K there. Profit, kindling goes up. Not the best one. Oh, a team of the week pack for like 150 kindling. Oh, that's worth this. 30k coins. Okay, the 150 is like 10, 15k coins. 15k profit. Bought, bought. Like, will they give us good things like that? Or a, a 94 power pass for 500 kindling. Okay, 500 kindling is this amount. Power pass with that. Wow, that's a great deal. That's when the kindling skyrockets. Like, that is when it happens. And it's that quick. And some people don't even do the math if it's, if it's a good value. They just start like buying just because they see kindling. So there is potential for that now. Like I said, as far as offers go, if you guys know how the blitz works, it's like hourly offers, like every per hour increments. So it's like eight, every eight hours, every four hours, they will do things. So that's kind of how you'd have to play it if you were to prepare. The best way to prepare, don't actually get kindling. Get players that could quick sell for kindling and leave them as your binder as like stock. Worst case scenario is you sell them. I actually wouldn't ever, I don't really do the offers. Like I, I did a few of them. Like the platinum was a good one. I made like a million coins there from all that. Cause I pulled an Aaron Donald and the Bob Miller and they quick sell for like 450 each last year at their price points. But I wouldn't even, don't sell them for kindling. Cause you can't remember that. That's the key thing. A lot of people say like, oh, I sold, I have all my kindling. Now what do I do? No, no, don't get the kindling. Get a card. So here's what happens. The blitz doesn't happen. You sell your card back after the promo. You make back what you spent. The blitz does happen. You sell the card. You make double what you spent. The offer is not going to be worth the 100 extra 70 k you're going to make. Now, you, what I would do is save up kindling from your solos and house rules and have those on deck for an offer. And then worst case scenario, if there's like a really good offer, like a 95 power pass, like just sell your card. In that case, it's worth it. Or a platinum quick, quick sells. But other than that, I recommend you have them on deck. Don't actually, but don't but buy them cheap. Snipe them. Make sure you're being smart about it. Don't just buy them right now because I said so. Buy McCaffrey for 260, for 250, for 275. Snipe them. Snipe them out. Have, just have like one or two. That's all you need. That is plenty of kindling. And then if you make enough profit off that, it's just a great feeling to be able to make a lot of money off of just holding on to some cards. And then you can also play with them. Why not? Go go put the McCaffrey in your team. Have fun with him for a little bit. Play with him. Hold on to him. And there's plenty of other guys. There's Darius Leonard. There's plenty of other guys in the same scenario. I just like I like McCaffrey, so I was doing it on him. But I think that pretty much covers how I prepare, I prep for the Blitz. I gave you guys the marketing strategies I used, as well as the, the the kind of the strategy I would I would follow, as well as what you could see. I mean, I don't have to go into the actual Blitz stuff because at the end of the day, it's gonna be probably trading, mud points, and kindling. That's probably what we'll end up seeing the three forms of how we're going to be have to attack the Blitz promo. When will it drop? I believe last year it dropped closer to around Christmas. So probably sometime after Christmas, like the 26th to the 29th, if anything. But they do are doing the 12 days of Christmas. I don't know when they'll fit that in. This is just in case they do do it, guys. Because here's the thing. I always want to, I like to be precautionary. Because the worst case scenario is I don't make this video for you guys. The Blitz happens. You guys have no idea what to do. And you miss out. Like the first two days of that Blitz are key for buying and selling. To make that initial coin. So I have a lot of coins to do a big one next time. But like let's say there's a four day interval of this blitz and the first day they do offers and the third day they do kindling offers so you need to know in the first day to have them ready to make all those coins and then save up those coins and reinvest them on the third day but if i don't have this video out for you guys you guys know what to do you might not know what, what's going on so i like to make this now if it doesn't come out it's whatever you guys still have the knowledge and you could use this for everything this isn't just this 
This works with a lot of things. Like when cards first come out and they go well below the training value, just buy them. It's always a great idea because they will come back up at some point because that's the beauty of training or the, or the nightmare training. I don't really know what you consider it, that it always will hold the value thanks to the training value. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this did help you guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to enter the 25 Days of Poop Mist. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Comment down below your console and the secret word. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.